Hello, welcome to TechWeb Dots. Today we are going to discuss what is signal R. Okay, so because in uh, upcoming videos you will see when we will create the Blazor application with the server side template, then there is signal R connection is required. That's why I have made this video especially for you. Okay, and we will also uh, discuss what are the requirements to use signal R. Okay, and uh, what is signal R hub and web socket. Okay, so let's start without wasting time. Okay, so in this session, what we will learn why we need signal R and what is signal R, how signal R works, what is C sharp hubs, and what are web sockets, and what are the basic requirements. Okay, so we know uh, if we are using a Blazor server template with uh, C sharp okay so in that case we will follow this model and this model says server and client which is our browser will communicate through signal R connection okay so if you want to create the uh, blazor application with blazor server model then we need signal R connection okay so from here the requirements are related what is signal R actually okay so very first thing we will discuss why signal R required nowadays user don't want to hit the refresh button to get update uh, to the data if they are using a modern application so expectations are like this means if we are using a very modern application which displays uh, you know any uh, real time content any real time data so in that we are expectations are we are we are expecting a real time data okay technically in web application real time functionality is your server side code push the content to connected clients as it happens in real time as it happens means means there is a stock market market change so you will see a changes in friction of seconds okay right away so modern applications uh, are like games dynamic dashboards map instant sales update travel alert team meeting software and flight updates and example of collaborative apps these are okay and apps that requires notification like social media network like email chat and many more so you can see how useful this signal R is okay because everywhere we need a immediate notification immediate update on real time so what is signal R signal R is a software library or services from Microsoft because it is a part of Microsoft ASP.NET services that allows server code to send a synchronous notification means it will work side by side behind the scene there is no pause in this notification to a client side web application and RPC RPC is a remote processor call we will discuss this in the upcoming uh, upcoming video session okay so stay tuned for that so the library includes server side and client side JavaScript components and it uses event instead of task or a thing means we are not using any uh, threading task we are not using using asynchronous or await keywords right it is a totally different model so client server persistence uh, connection over http with web sockets is required because if we take example of chat application and uh, both both the user and clients are uh, receiving real time updates so definitely behind the scene there is a persistent connection required and web sockets are purely persistent we will discuss what are web sockets okay in uh, in this video um, just after few moments so how we can understand um, what is uh, signal i in c sharp is when there is a client and there is a server and then client sends the request to server and both understand each other then there's a persistent connection is uh, generated and interaction continuously or started right and what happens behind the scene and what is required to create a persistent connection we will discuss just, just after this okay so what are the what are its features and what are its uses so we already know uh, how many uh, in how many applications we can use signal i have already discussed and another thing is signal is a part of asp.net framework service yes and signal supports high frequency updates from server yes the kind of applications uh, now it is developing where immediate notification required yes that those are the high frequency application signal is open source on github so we can get everything from there you can modify uh, as per your need because it is an open source okay just like the rest of dotnet other uh, framework of features handle connection management automatically yes it handles uh, very well and is fast and scalable as well because as of now we we, we are getting support uh, from azure side as well if you are using signal connection we will discuss later that is out of out of the scope from this video and you can host the signal r apps yourself or use azure signal r service for a fully managed platform yes azure is fully supported 
for signal connection as your signal also with handles uh, uh, concerns like performance scalability availability and has a 99.9 percent .9 service level agreement so you can understand how accurate it works okay so this is the architecture of signal R. what actually happens is signal R uh, uh, have its own uh, own communication with the main server right because c sharp uh, signal R hub is created which works uh, for the web sockets and web sockets help us to create the connection right and all other clients g got the notification through signal R on the real time basis means how because once uh, I have already seen I already shown you uh, what how a persistent connection will work there in on the real time basis if though if client and server uh, their connection uh, on the basis of uh, uh, web sockets and herbs they handshake and they perform communication okay so you can see we have a server which push notification and that notification broadcast through our signal R network and what signal R consists of hubs very first thing second web sockets then it creates a connection okay and that's uh, broadcast a message to other clients which is one two three or how many clients um, can be there okay so it will send to all the clients okay this is a uh, pure uh, basic architecture of how signal R works actually okay so uh, let's discuss uh, how we can connect and what are the transport things are there okay you can connect your signal R hub with client SDK means software development kit for javascript.net because in .net in C sharp F sharp and visible basic are there and uh, javascript and uh, java and it start receiving real time messages on almost a platform including web mobile desktop and games right we have already discussed this right so we, we can discuss through these are the uh, connectivity platform and signal R uses web sockets right we will discuss just after this so don't worry about if you are thinking what, what is web socket right we will discuss right, right after this when it is uh, um, so signal R uses web socket when it is available okay we will understand this later and uh, just after a few moments and signal R supports the following techniques for handling real time communication in order to graceful fallback means it uses web sockets right if and, and the second second priority it uses servers and events right we have already uh, seen it, it don't use task or any async await task so it uses on the basis of events and long pulling is there it means it can wait for the right communication signal R automatically chooses the best transport method that is uh, within the capability of the server and client means it understand what is the server capability what is the uh, client capability and on the basis of that it generates connection between client and server uh, client and server and start communication each other okay now the very important point that you might be you are waiting for because there is lots of theory but definitely it is very important to understand i will show you a graphical uh, or a, a pictorial presentation as well just start with this so what is signal R hub signal R uses hubs to communicate between client and server yes we know client and server communication is required yes very first point which is valid and how they are communicating they are using a hubs okay so signal R hubs can be written in c sharp code and added to your asp.net app along with the your pages apis and can be integrated with asp.net features like dependency injection authentication authorization and uh, scalability a hub is a high level pipeline that allows a client and server to call method on each other means uh, it is a pipeline you can say um, hub is a pipeline through that client and server methods are uh, they are uh, they are making calls each other signal allow client to call method on the server and vice versa means client can call the server side method and server side uh, and the server can call the client side method okay you can pass a strongly type parameters uh, to the method which enables model binding signal R provides two built-in hub protocol means signal R int internally following two protocols one is text protocol based on the JSON which is used for sending a uh, large data and a binary protocol based on the message pack message pack generally creates a smaller message compared to JSON okay so JSON we are using for bigger data as compared to message packs uh, we will discuss um, in a we will all discuss all these things uh, practically in the uh, our upcoming uh, series so stay tuned for it and subscribe it so that it, you get the instant notification hub uh, hubs call client side codes by sending messages that contains a name and the parameter 
of that client side me method yes if server want to call the client side method then server needs to uh, tell the client okay these are the parameters and these are the method that i want to call uh, from your code okay object send as a method parameter are deserialized using the configured protocol the client tries to match the name to a method in the client side code yes definitely client will receive the request he will try to match okay where it is matching when the client find a match it calls a method and passes it to the deserialized parameter data okay once there is a match found then uh, client deserializes it and matches the data and process the request okay now what are the web socket this is the another important part this is another it means it is very important part and there is a handshake required so uh, we understand what is hub we can write the c sharp hub okay and web socket is a computer communication protocol provide a full duplex communication duplex means means we are uh, means both side communication is happening okay so that's called duple full duplex communication channel over a single tcp connection tcp means transmission control protocol the web socket api is being standardized by wcc which is worldwide consortium okay so it is a valid um, uh, web socket apis uk okay, and which is standardized as well by, by w3c so earlier web socket name is tcp connection now we call them web sockets web socket is designed to work over http ports over 80 or 443 as well as to support the http proxies and intermediaries okay thus uh, making it compatible with http protocol okay so that's why it is compatible with, with http protocol because of this to achieve compatibility, the WebSocket handshake uses the HTTP upgrade header. To change from the HTTP protocol to WebSocket protocol means we know HTTP is a stateless protocol. Okay, once we send the request, so HTTP works with the help of WebSocket help us to create a persistent connection. And and what is the reason behind that? There is a reason of protocol handshake. Okay, means there is a HTTP protocol and there is a TCP protocol. We know it is a transmission control protocol and there is a HTTP protocol. So to establish a WebSocket connection, the client send a WebSocket handshake handshake request means our client our browser our user send a request to the server of handshake for which the server return a WebSocket handshake response means client and server both are shaking hands okay it means they understand each other now they will start communicating each other so WebSocket protocol enables interaction between a browser or client application and a web server with http polling and facilitating real-time data transfer and to the server okay this is how it works this is made possible by providing a standardized way for the server to send content to client without being first requested by the client okay so it, it is not required always once client will start the things then only server reply because in a stock market you will see you know in every uh, every second data is um, you know a new data is received by the all by all the clients how this is happening this there is a persistent connection is required which is behind there behind the scene and every time you will see there is a you know rapid updates either it is a um, you know all the you know uh, real time dashboard uh, that requires and the real example is stock market okay where it is fresh recursive so this so this is the overview of websocket and hubs so uh, i i made a, a very uh, clear picture for you so it is e very easy to understand for you how how method calling happened between a uh, server and client so on server we have a server function on client we have a client function right so server uh, call the client function and there is a hub which works there is a hub proxy is there okay server calls the client method okay and in the same way client can also call the server method my server function okay so this is how both communicating each other we have already told you what is required for that persistent connection and persistent persistent connection you can create with the help of web sockets okay and web uh, web socket works with the help of hubs which is written in c sharp okay i hope it is uh, clear to you <laughs> okay so what are the basic requirements for using SignalR? You need Visual Studio 2017.NET Framework 4.5 is required and SignalR version 2 is required. Okay. So I hope these are the basic requirements. So before starting, make sure your system is ready to use this. You can use the older version of SignalR as well. So don't worry about, I will uh, paste all the important links related to SignalR and uh, Blazor and uh, those things you will find those th those links in my description uh, of this video so if you have any question uh, you can please leave a comment i will reply on that as soon as possible okay 
for my next video which is creating single nr application on the basis of things that we have discussed okay so thanks for watching have a good day